<laughs> Back for another Kid Funko Christmas Story with Snows. Fuzzy. Yeah. And, and you. Yeah. What's this story called, guys? The this Snow Angel. Yeah. Yeah. It was a bright, crisp morning when a swirl of wind woke Daisy. Mom, Sam, wake up, she squeaked. It's Christmas, and it's snowing. Yippee, cheered Daisy's big brother, Sam dancing around the nest. Merry Christmas, everyone. Mm-hmm. Looks warm and cozy in there under the snow. Doesn't it? Merry Christmas, little <laughs> ones, said Mom, giving them each a gift. Ooh, Daisy squealed. Berries and nuts, said Sam. Thanks, Mom. Saving their presents for later, the mice rushed out to play in the snow. Have fun, Mom called. I'll find some extra bedding to make our nest cozy, and then we'll have a special Christmas dinner. Giggling, <laughs> Daisy and Sam slipped and slid up the hill. Below <laughs> sparkled a blanket of snow, but Daisy and Sam hardly noticed. High above was the most beautiful thing they'd ever seen. Sunshine gleamed on its wings as it soared through the sky. Sam, look, whispered Daisy. It's an angel, a Christmas angel. But as the mice watched breathlessly, the angel began to flutter and fall. Oh no, cried Daisy, rushing forward as it tumbled to the ground. Quick, Sam gasped. With whiskers a-trembling, the mice tiptoed over the snow. Ooh, the one cool thing about this book is they've added glitter to the drawings. Mm -hmm. If you kids can pick that up, there's some glitter right around here. It accents the outline of her feathers. The angel was lying silent and still. Its feathers shone like ice, and snow crystals glittered on its wings. Oh, that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, Sam, Daisy cried. Is it, isn't it wonderful? I don't think it looks very well, Sam replied. Then the snow angel spoke. Little mice, can you help me? It said. My friends and I have flown for days from a land of ice and stars, but last night I lost them in a storm. Now I'm tired and hungry, and I don't know if I will ever see them again. Oh dear, we need to find food, said Daisy, but everything's frozen. Not everything, said Sam. Come on, and the mice raced off across the meadow. The snow was much deeper when the mice returned. Carrying their precious gifts of berries and nuts, they placed them in the front of the angel and watched as slowly it began to eat. Sharing their Christmas gifts. Very kind. Daisy brushed snowflakes from the angel's wings as it lay, its head down to sleep. Do you think it will be all right? She asked. I hope so, said Sam. They waited by the angel's side until at last the snow stopped falling and sunset streaked the sky. Then the angel opened its eyes. With a sudden rush of feathers, it spread its wings. Thank you, little mice, it said. You have been very kind. I will never forget your help. The mice gasped as the angel, shining gold in the evening light, soared up over their heads. Merry Christmas, it called. Wow, whispered Sam. Daisy held up her paws. Look, she cried, it's snowing again. White flakes whirled around them, but as Sam reached out and caught one, he laughed in surprise. Feathers, he shouted. The mice gathered armfuls of soft white feathers and raced back home. Mom, called Daisy. We found an angel. It gave us a present. Mom looked up from the straw she'd been using to line the nest. Goose feathers, she exclaimed. We'll feel as if we were sleeping on clouds. Oh, wow. This is where they get down feather comforters from. <laughs> all right. Over Christmas dinner, Daisy and Sam told Mom all about their snow angel. Then, happy and tired, the family snuggled up on a warm bed of feathers. This was the best Christmas ever, Daisy whispered to Sam. We did see a real angel, didn't we? I'm sure we did, said Sam. And, and as, as he drifted, drifted off to sleep, he saw the feathers shining in the darkness, darkness twinkling like stars in a frosty, frosty winter, winter sky. That makes me so tired, Stone. That makes me want to get some ink and write a letter to us. Oh. Oh, 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 who's there? Santa, is that you? Uh, <laughs> well, Snows, where'd you go? Hey! Oh, <laughs> Snows, will you play the trick on me? I'm... Is that because I commented, liked, and subscribed and hit the notification bell? Yep, the guy was giving you a snowy shout out. All oh, right, and we want to give you kids a. Have you guys ever 
witnessed a hurt animal that you maybe helped regain its strength so it can go back out to the wild or fly away or... Yeah, I remember helping a bird and taking it down to the bird sanctuary. I've seen oh, yeah. other animals in need. And I know, I know sometimes there's a controversy over, should I touch the animal? Because then I'll have human scent. <coughs> well, make sure you always uh, get your scent? <laughs> make sure you always get your parents with you. Right. You don't know what diseases animals might have, so you know, don't, you know, don't approach it. Get an adult, and then uh, yeah, then you can help those animals out. Oh yeah. There's all these places that will take these animals. And but, if you don't want to do that, animal shelter. Right. And they might turn into a an animal angel. Yeah. Then you can go sleep on their feathers. Hey, thanks for joining us for another one, and stay tuned because we've got more coming. Your way every day, every week. Like, subscribe, comment, yeah. share with your friends. Okay. All right. Read with your parents. Bye, kids. Learn. Bye.